Hi, I'm Meat Love. This is Brandon, and we're on Spoiler TV. But he's going to ask me questions, and I'm not going to spoil a damn thing, okay? <laughs> All right, so you've been doing these roundtables. You've, you've done the press line. You've probably been asked the same question a million times. So I want to ask you, what's the one thing that you haven't been asked about Ghost Wars that you've been wanting to talk about? Is there anything? Nothing. Nothing? No. Is there anything in general that you would want to talk about that you haven't been asked about? No. No? Okay, so... Feel free to ask anything you want. Okay. <laughs> so, um, what is special about your character to you? Oh, the depth of him. And uh, he was so well written that I could take him as deep as the deepest part of any ocean in the world. And I have that many levels to him. And then I've gone in on days that I'm not in and watched the actors that I know I'm coming up a scene the next day or the day after with. And I want to know, this was early on. Now I got everybody. But early on, I wanted to know who they were and what was the truth of their character that they were that they were showing me at the time mm -hmm. and and I didn't want to I didn't want to know the storyline I just was paying attention to the characters I really wasn't paying attention to what they were saying I was watching emotionally what they were doing because I don't I don't read the scripts because it's like in real life okay because stop doing that uh, they keep going like this. Okay, in real life, right now, we have no idea what's going on outside in that hall. Right? Mm -hmm. The only thing we know is that we're talking to each other. So if they write a script and there's a scene that's taking place between two characters out in that hallway, we don't know that. So I go to the set and my script is only Doug. And this happened a long time ago, and now people have started doing it. Michael Keaton was the first. In, in 85 or 86, I did a movie with Michael called The Squeeze. And I walked on set with just that part of the script that I was in. And he goes, w what's that? I said, oh, that's my script. He goes, well, that's not the whole script. I said, well, I don't know what you're doing when you're not here. He goes, oh, you're right. So about two or three days later, he comes in, and all this stuff is gone from his. And that's happened on many films since then. And you find that that's better in, in for, oh, for you? Oh, yeah, because that's the truth. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know what Carla, the, the owner of the bar, is doing if I'm not in the bar. Mm -hmm. I have no clue. I found out the other day she was getting laid in there, but uh, I wasn't there, so I didn't get to enjoy that moment. <laughs> I want to thank you so much for your time. I hope You're you have welcome. a great Comic-Con. And just remember, for all you young actors out there, it's about the truth, always, and never have dead eyes. Uh-uh. Dead eyes mean you're an actor looking, standing outside, watching yourself act. Take Thank a you. Sip for your last one.